Hey Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today's video I'll be starting a new series of videos and it will be showing the PlayStation 2 collection which you can see behind and you can see I've already took a stack off at the top so this would be part one it's mostly going to be a lot of parts so put it like that so we hope you enjoy Game from the collection is 007 Quantum of Solace. So that's the artwork on the front. I do like the 007 games. Uh, it's quite a good game. I think most of these we got on voucher or some games we got from for free because Lisa's always good at finding bargains of games. This game comes with a nice disc, which obviously does a disc because it's a game. I should have realised that. And then it comes with a nice manual. It is a one player game the second one to uh, the set is 18 wheeler american pro trucker who remembers this as an arcade game when you go to the arcades we've played this many a time especially at skegness so that's the back of it it is a two player game this game comes with a nice manual and if you look at the artwork it's the same as the front cover and then that's the game disc. The next game is a game that Lisa loves. It's 50 cent bulletproof. As you can see, we've still got a CX label on. Some games do have the labels on, some don't. This is an 80 game, so it's quite violent. It is actually a good game. I've only played this once though, I have to say. Um, it comes with a nice manual and artwork. And this is a one player game. The next game is a series that you'll notice on every single collection video or pickups video that Lisa has a thing of football slash wrestling game. So this is a football game called 2002 FIFA World Cup. We got this for free at our local game store when we first had the console. Comes with a manual and a nice disc artwork. I like how it's gold. The good thing with PS2 box are they do have the memory card in, but I mean the memory card holder, but you can only have official memory cards unofficial ones don't fit in there unfortunately we are trying to get loads of memory cards official ones so we could put them in the game case it's due to having that many games behind us you need to have a memory card for each game or each set of games like if you have gchase put one in one of the card gate in one of the cases because if not we struggle to find out which uh, memory card has the game on the next game is um action man atom alpha teens on machines it's a mouthful. Who remembers Action Man on Jetix or who had the dolls as a kid? I didn't have the dolls, but brother did, and I used to play with these more than the Barbies. So that's got some nice artwork if you have a look there. And then that's the disc, it does have the nice logo and it. it does bring back so many memories. And this is only a one player game, which I thought it was a two player game. The next one is based on, I think it's a, yeah, a CBBC program. Um, I do own one of the DVDs, is Ace Lightning. I remember paying 10p for this at Cash Gen. No, sorry, Cash Converters. That's That character there is the, the bad guy, and that's the hero. I think you can buy a doll for this when it first came out. Unfortunately, this has no manual, but that's the artwork on the disc. Just plain, simple artwork. The next game is a game that you can buy on the PC, different versions of it is <clears throat> Age of Empires 2, The Age of the Kings. You would have seen on a recent pickup video that we got this. We paid £3 on CEX. It is only one player, but that's what it looks like at the back of the game. As you can tell, I'll tell you the date because there's a receipt here that we picked it up. We picked oh sorry, we picked it up just before Christmas, so you would have seen it around back then December time. One of our pickup videos does have a nice manual, it's quite chunky manual because the game could be quite complicated if you're not used to some type of games. There's that's the artwork. I actually think they should have put like the characters on the disc, but I think it's quite nice so rather than the, the posh writing. The next game is a skateboarding game, slash I wouldn't know if you call it skateboarding or snowboarding because it looks like a skateboard but it's got no wheels on. So this game is Airblade. 
It is a two-play game. Me and Lisa do like our racing games because it's quite fun when you're bored. You just put on a racing game, see who wins. And I normally lose at these. Um, very, very, I only really win on like the cartoon games. That's the manual. The next game is Air Ranger Rescue. I haven't played this game yet. We bought this for CX as you can still see the residue from the, the round sticker. It's got a, a plain simple manual and a plain simple dish like the badge on. This game is one player. The next game is based on a TV series, which I we do want to buy on DVD. I don't think you can buy it on box on Blu-ray. It's called Elias. I think Elias or Alias or however you pronounce it. It's a one player game. It reminds me of like a cross between Splinter Star and a bit of Mission Impossible. I think that's the main character there, the woman with the red hair. It does come with a manual. Got the same artwork as the front cover the manual does have. As you can see, that's the woman. She's on the, and she's on the disc, so they kept it nice and simple. But I actually do like it like that. The next game is one of uh, is a horror game. It's one of Lisa's favourite franchises. Is Alien vs Predator Extinction. I don't think Lisa's played this yet. It is a one player game. I will have to give this a try because I like the Alien vs Predator which is on the 360 or PS3. It's like a blue and white cover. can't remember what it's called. So that's it. Comment down below if you have played this game or have you got any other games. I know there's a Predator game on the PS2. Let me know if it's any good and if it's worth picking up. The next game is a... I don't even, it's quite call it like an animation sort of fighting game. It's called Alter Echo. It's a one player game. It's about, it's set in the future um, with some like robots, as you can tell on the back cover. I'll show you that. So like, look at like alien robots. And there's like a robot there, like some looking like a bug. I haven't played these. A lot of the games, I will say, we haven't really played. We just buy them when we see them cheap. And as, you, as a, any gamer would know, or movie collective, you own too many, you struggle to either watch them or play them. You can't, can't find the time to play these. This is a one player game. The next one is an awesome series that you used to get um, on Cartoon Network or CITV, Animaniacs. It's Animaniacs, The Great Edgar Hunt. This is actually a good game. I remember get Lisa buying me this for my birthday. And I played it straight away. It does feature Pinky and the Brain. It is a really good game. I think you could buy this on Xbox. I'm not 100% sure. This is one or two, one to two players. As you can tell, it's still got like the CX sticker label thing still on there. It does come with a manual. This was quite hard to find, but so we had to travel out for this game. The next one is one of my favourite type of series of games to play. I do like a good war game. So the next one is America's 10 Most Wanted. I remember playing this when it first came out. I had it when I was younger. My parents did bite me even though it was a 15 at the time. And I was probably quite younger than that. I think it's based in World War II onwards. But I can't remember because it's been a while since I played. This one doesn't have a manual and it's not in an official PS2 box, which I'm not too fussed about. So that's the artwork on the disc. It's the same as the front cover. Who, who likes a good war game? I like playing Call of Duty with Lisa and Lloyd. It's quite fun. Especially when I run around with the sword and if I'm playing against someone, they might scream because they don't see me with the sword. The next one um, is based on an animation film. It's an American tale. I did pay £2 to see it because you can see the label still on there. We picked this up not long ago. It's got some nice artwork. That artwork matches the, the DVD artwork. It does come with a manual. And the disc is in mint condition. I haven't played this yet. But I have watched the gameplay. Just so it looks really good. Lisa spotted this on the CEX website. As before she goes to CEX. She always makes sure that she checks every category on the app. And makes a list of the phone so we don't miss anything. And the next one. Is a bowling game called AMF Extreme Bowling 2006. Lisa does like the bowling and pinball games. It is in really good condition. The box you'd see the not really the scratches on there. And it does come with a manual. This was brand new when we got it, but we unsealed it. The next one 
next game is based on a movie, um, a Warner Brothers movie, is the Ant Bully. And I can tell by feeding this because the way it should have a manual in there because you can tell it has to be about a manual. And it's got some really nice artwork. It is one player. You'll see anyone who doesn't have a PS2 or who has never played games, there are the white boxes, that other white box. It will tell you how many players it is, how much memory it takes in the memory card. And I'll tell you how much I paid because there's a CX receipt in here. And we only paid 50p. And I've had this game since 2020, so it's been a while. And I will say I haven't played it. Which Lisa would know um, that I like to collect the games more. I'm sorry, I'll show you the manual as well. It's got the same artwork on the manual as well as the disc. I'm on the last four games now. So the next game is a good game. I've played this quite a few times when I was a child. Um, it's Area 51. It's a good alien shoot em up game. It reminded me a little bit of Halo. Um, we paid 150 for six. You can tell we haven't took the label off. And this is one or two players. Me and Lisa has played it. Have me and Lisa have played this together before. The artwork's the same on the disc. I've noticed with PS2 games, I sort of keep this artwork from the front cover on the disc and the manual. The next one is a game which I'm trying to get the set for. But as you can see, all three of these games here, which I'll be showing you now, are all from the same series of games which i'm trying to collect on every single console so the first one is army men green rogue they are actually quite violent games you'd think considering army men from toy story isn't so violent that these are more violent these are i think these are separate so this is um iron green rogue it's an arcade shooter it says real combat plastic men it says video in the corner and it's really good graphics for the time um it's one or two players as you can tell we bought it for CX and we still got it in the plastic wallet that it came in because at the time this was when COVID was around, they wasn't taking them out of these so they put them in there which I will get Lisa to do in a minute which I'll pass it to her as she's behind the camera. The next one is Army Men Real Time Strategy or RTS. This reminds me of like a Age of Empire style game or if you ever played Star Wars Battlestar game where you, you plan what you do on there. This is an 11 plus. The box is a bit... Um, what would you call it? A bit scratched, but I'm not too fussed. It does come with a manual. What I like about PS2 menus, they are quite thick. And it comes with nice art. I like the artwork. It's quite nice. Stands out as well. And the last game from part one is Army Men Sarge's Hero 2. It's still an 11 plus game. But that's the artwork. It is two players. This reminds me of small soldiers on PS1 that Lisa got me into. Where you go around shooting each other. And then that's the manual. It's got some nice character artwork in there. And then that's the disc. The disc is grey compared to the manual. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to um, give us a follow on all our social media. The links are down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get the latest updates. We will be posting Monday to Friday. We have now changed the time to 6 p.m. This week, um, we won't, uh, when this goes live, um, we're on holiday in Skegness. Um, so if we don't get back to you straight away, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So we hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time.